going to color range again to select the bottom the dark colors and we want a little bit of the dark just so you can uh, tell where the rocks are on the height map and the height map is what we're making so we got the lowest part of course you know according to this image so we're gonna go to our, our top layer we just made and we got this now so we load up the layer styles um, go to outer glow and since it's a height map we want it from the darkest spots to get gradually lighter so we go to darken for outer glow um, on full black opacity probably full actually no we'll put opacity at 75 just cause then it's kinda like a, a gap going to the dark spots um, we'll put it to precise just so it keeps inside those rocks and uh, we'll get it so it's contrast pretty good uh, we might want to put a white little layer under it just so we can see it better alright and that's looking okay but the dark spots are still really vi visible so we'll make the dark spots uh, a little bit higher than black and then inner glow black darken from the center and that'll make it you know a little bit different uh, yeah that looks good so that way it kinda gives it more of a depth effect and um, um, we'll hit control A and then copy merged copy paste and now we have a layer that isn't being affected by anything below it so we'll go to the highest spot which is white and we'll make the fuzziness just a little bit less than we had before then we got just the top selected so let's make a new layer and just so you can see it kinda better I'll make it red because it doesn't really matter because now I'll set it to the fill opacity to zero and I don't know I kinda feel stupid about using the you know preloaded patterns but I do have, I, I use it every once in a while just because it looks good and then I'll set um you know the scale down so it's a little bit more edgy and this will give the rock kind of a finished look and I'll put the opacity down just to keep the height 